you well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be going through my updated Doc Martens collection for 2022. If I'm being honest with you guys, I have been putting off filming this video for about three weeks now and I really need to get down and film it. However, if you could see the state around me right now, I film on my bed because that is the kind of free space that I have in my bedroom. I have got the dot martins are just everywhere i have no idea how many i actually own that is becoming an issue but yes we're going to go through them all i do apologize if some of them are dirty or a little bit dusty i am actually going to be cleaning all of these with my dad because i can't do it all on my own because it will take me all day after this video um they are in need of a really deep clean and polish so i do apologize if any are dirty but without further ado let's dive in i hope you guys enjoy this video it might be quite long so grab yourself a snack a coffee a tea anything like that and let's dive in i hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching i also forgot to mention i'm not going to be doing these in any particular order in the past i have done it so i do kind of all the flat shoes first then the platform shoes but i just have so many now it's becoming a problem i don't have the space to kind of sieve through them all and pick out the ones I want to do first I'm just gonna have to go with what's on the top and make my way through them all I hope that's okay but let's dive in okay so so the first pair are these these are the Doc Martin Bryonies in the cherry red I'm not going to go into too much detail for each shoe we would be here for about an hour but the brief kind of description of these these are a really nice cropped shoe with laces buckle detailing and the platform I love the look of these shoes the only thing about these shoes I don't like is the top ridge here now I don't know if you guys can see especially here I don't know what has happened but the leather has all cracked around the edge so it's all ripping off it looks a bit gross and it just doesn't look as nice I don't know whether I should remove all of it or whether I can take these to a tailor or is it a tailor is that what they're called a shoe fixer -er? a shoe fixer I don't know uh, to get them fixed so if any of you guys have any suggestions please let me know but I love the look of these shoes they're definitely different the only thing about them again that I don't like apart from obviously the breakage is putting them on and off is a bit of a nightmare because they don't have zips so it is a case of undoing the buckles undoing the laces um so it's not a quick shoe definitely got a plan to put these on but I really like them I cannot remember how much they were probably around the 189 mark as a lot of them are but yes love these shoes I'm not sure if you can get them anymore but definitely um, a staple in my collection. The next pair are the 1461 quads in white. I featured these in a haul video sometime last year. I can't remember what it was. It was probably around this time last year. I bought four pairs of shoes. This was one of them. Have I worn these outside yet? No, no I haven't. I get very protective over my Doc Martens. I'm definitely a collector as well as an avid wearer. I love them. A lot of these you will notice I haven't really worn much, but you will definitely notice the ones I have worn. Um, so these are a pair that I haven't actually worn outside yet because I really don't want to get them dirty. I know that because of the finish of these, as soon as I scuff them, they are going to be ruined and that upsets me. So I haven't worn them yet, but I really love these shoes. I get all mine in a size three, by the way. A lot of people ask me whether they should size up, size down um, or whatever. And I just always get my actual size. However, if you can try them on, highly recommend it because I do have some pairs that I find a little bit big, um, but I can't really size down because I am a three. So then I'd be going into the kids sizes and they're not really the same, but yeah. This is this pair. I love them. I have got a few other colours in this style, which I'll show you in a minute when I can find them. Um, but this is the white ones. I really like these, so absolute fave. Love those. Sticking with the white theme, I also have the Doc Martin Jadens in white. Again, I absolutely love a white shoe. These are really great. I only got these literally maybe last year or the... Was it last year for my birthday? I think it was. And... I have wanted these for a really long time and I never really bought them so they were on my wish list for a while um, and I got them for my birthday and I'm a really big fan of these. I think they are around the £199 mark but I love the fact they've got a zip, they're super convenient, easy to put on and off which I love. They come with great laces and I really like to change up the laces. The only thing I don't like about these, the laces are that waxy lace and I find that they come undone quite easily but I like to swap and change my laces anyway so absolutely love those and they just look really great next to the white ones so 
big fan. So the next pair are the Holly shoes. Now these are a really, really fun pair of shoes. These are velvet. So if you don't like velvet, you won't like these. And they have a double kind of eyelet as opposed to having lots of small ones. They have two big ones. They have a really lovely kind of silk satin lace, which is really, really nice. And they have the quad sole. I love these. Um, these are obviously because they're velvet, they're really nice to wear. They don't necessarily get ruined, which is great, but I am a big fan of these. Massive, massive fan. Um, I absolutely love the style. I really want to get some of the normal shoes in this style, um, but yeah love these. The next pair are these. These are some 1461s. Yes, some 1461 shoes in a very crazy holographic style. These came out for a collection years ago. If you have been watching my channel for a very long time, you would have seen my what I got for Christmas when I got these. So yeah, I'm really, really in love with these. Or was it what I got for my birthday? I think it was what I got for Christmas. But I love these. I have not seen them since. I just find them really, really exciting and really interesting and different. And again, I would wear them with an all black outfit keeping it super simple um but having a statement shoe so i love those the next pair are the cherry red jadens now these i don't know whether you can actually get any more i know that they do the ox blood jadens which are more of like a blood red color but these are the cherry red ones which i bought how long ago did i buy these literally probably years ago not too long after i probably got the black ones um but again i absolutely love these i love the cherry red dot martins i think they're so it's just such a kind of Doc Martin staple colour. I think it's the original colour. I think these look great with light wash denim, to be honest. That's the kind of way I would wear it. I think they look absolutely just so cool. I really like them. So these are the Jadens again, probably just under £200 um, and I am in love with those. I feel like I'm running out of space already and I've only done six pairs. This is going to be a very long video. I do apologise. Next up we have the 2976 quad Chelsea boots in white. I bought these again not too long ago. I think I mentioned them in a video and I absolutely love these. The only thing with this style, it's so stiff up here. So this area rubs like no tomorrow but it is such a cool shoe again a light wash denim jean I would wear these with I think they're so beautiful um, and I love a white dot martin so I had to get these in my collection I'm a massive massive fan and I'm not going to go on about them too much because we are only seven pairs in so I'm going to briefly move on but I do really like these the next pair are the doc martin mollies these are very similar to the hollies but these are like the Jaden version they are a little bit different so the eyelets are bigger and they do come with this really beautiful again satin silky lace and they are velvet i love these again i think i got these for a christmas present absolutely ages ago probably thinking maybe eight to nine years ago like a really really long time but i love these shoes again i'm a massive dot martins fan i collect them this is why i have so many i always have more on my wish list it's becoming a problem but i absolutely love these shoes they are a definite favorite of mine and i just really like them so yeah those are the mollies the next pair is the doc martin ami lita i think they're called these are definitely not my favorite i'm not gonna lie they are a very i don't know how to describe them they're just not really my style if I'm being honest I really love the kind of detailing of the inner stitching here and I love that the laces match I think that's so cute they look great when they're down and you can roll them up to be a longer boot I just find these really really hard to style I think that's my main issue and the fact they're not platforms as well I don't tend to gravitate towards them anymore but I do really want to start wearing them. I just cannot for the life of me think of a way to style these. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to know down below in the comments. But yeah, these are very old, very worn. I used to wear them a lot when I worked at Lush because they were just easy to wear, comfy and that kind of thing. But yeah, style wise, I'm just really struggling at the moment. So any ideas, that would be great. The next pair is definitely one of my absolute favourites and these are the Jaden Maxes. Now, obviously you do not need to have these and the Jadens. I think it's definitely very unnecessary but I have had the Jadens for absolutely years and I really wanted to get the Max ones so I did and I'm in love with them they are essentially the Jadens but with an extra part of the sole on the bottom so they are super high super statement and I really really like these shoes I personally love the yellow lace I know a lot of people that like to swap them out for the black ones but I absolutely love the yellow laces in these and they come with a zip super easy to wear really really beautiful I just absolutely love these these are absolute favorite so 
can go wrong with a Jaden Max. Next up we have another white shoe and that is the Doc Martin Ashley. Now I am a big fan of these. I know they're not going to be to everyone's cup of tea because they are more of that creeper style shoe which was more in fashion probably again 10 to 15 years ago but I really really like these I have also got them in black which I'll show you in a second but I really love these I think they're so different so unique I love the platform obviously they're a big favorite again the white ones I don't seem to gravitate towards as much simply because I don't want to ruin them I really want to take care of my shoes and I really don't want to ruin these but um, I absolutely love them and I think I got them when they were on sale I can't remember or did my parents get them for me as a gift I can't quite remember but I do absolutely love these these are just so stunning and different and I just think they're really edgy and cool so I love those luckily I can grab the black ones so this is what the black ones look like they are essentially exactly the same I have worn these ones a lot more but they are still very very stiff I really like the black ones though I think they go with pretty much anything I wear them quite a lot and I really really like them again black ones I do just gravitate towards more simply because if I scuff them they don't look as bad because I can just polish it out whereas on the white ones it's a lot harder to kind of keep them looking nice but yeah these are again the Doc Martin Ashley's and I love them so the next pair is a pair of the classic 1460s and that is these pink ones these are pink painted shoes and they look a little bit matte I need to give them a bit of a polish which I will be doing after this video I've had these for about nine or ten years now so a very very long time they are super worn really soft really comfortable I can't really say so much about them but they're amazing I love the color I love matching my lipstick or my outfit to this color I just think it looks really great with like an all black or white outfit again with like statement pieces that match this shoe and I really like it so yeah this is another pair I'd absolutely love these more if they had a platform but I do really like these nonetheless so that is a pair of 1460s the next pair is another pair of 1460s and that is this white pair so as you can see by this pair I have scuffed the front which is why I kind of put off myself from wearing my other white shoes because I really don't want to do this to them but these are a beautiful pair so comfortable I've worn these quite a lot actually again I wore these a lot in university I would have bought these about 10 or 9 years ago again and they have lasted very well so I absolutely love those next up moving on to one of my favorite pairs and these are the Doc Martin Bethans these are actually very hard to find now I find a lot of people are trying to find them on Depop and things like that I would never sell these unfortunately but I really really like them and I really would love them in white as well but I cannot find them for the life of me so I really wish they would bring them out again but bring out the white pair but I absolutely love these they are a very like schoolgirl style shoe but I love wearing these with like a frilly sock and a little dress in the summertime I think it kind of edges up a cute outfit but I absolutely love these 10 out of 10 if you can get these I would highly recommend they do hurt as a lot of them do when you wear them in but so worth it absolutely stunning next moving on to a more newer pair these are the white Sinclairs I really really want to get these in the black soft leather I really really want to get those they are on my wish list and I might have to purchase them at some point but these are the white ones again I just love a white Doc Martin I don't know what it is about them I just think they look absolutely stunning in white the Sinclairs are really great because they have got a front zip so they have got a few styles you can do you can zip it you can take the zip out and lace it up like a normal shoe and I just really like the kind of what's the word I'm looking for versatility versatility versatile versatile is that the right word you know what I mean they're a very versatile shoe and I love it so these are the white Sinclairs absolute fave and I just I feel like I'm gonna say that all of these are my favorite but they are I love all of them so much but these are great next up is again another pair of 1460s and that is this pair again very similar to the pink these are a little bit matte and I don't know why maybe I polished them with something I'm not really too sure they've gone a little bit funky but I'm gonna give them a clean again after this video but these are just the blue ones these are the painted ones again love them had them for ages can't say too much about these but I do really love them and they do go with a lot of stuff so I love those so so much the next pair is a pair of the Doc Martin Pascals these are the bright yellow pascals now I have never seen these since I could be wrong but I actually got these in a sale back in 2012 for 20 pounds and 12 pence I'm not even joking I also got these and another pair which I'll show you in a moment but these were 20 pounds my mum and dad got them for me because I was working that day and they just came into my work at the time and they had this like giant Doc Martens bag and they were like we just got three pairs of shoes for 60 pounds absolute bargain but I am obsessed with these I have actually only ever worn these outside probably once in my life because again they are such a delicate soft shoe I would hate to ruin them but I do really like them they're kind of like banana shoes and I kind of love it so I love those the next pair is another pair of 1460s and that is this 
one. These are a really beautiful kind of lavender duck egg bluey kind of colour. They are painted so they are that shiny kind of material but I really like these. This kind of shoe is really great for like in the snow. I find them very very waterproof, very comfortable, non-slip and that kind of thing but I really like these. I just love the colour. I remember seeing these in the shop and I think they were on sale and I had to pick them up because I just absolutely love the colour purple and I just needed a pair in my life so... I got those as well and I love those. The next pair of Doc Martens is the first pair that I ever bought ever which was probably about I want to say I was probably about 16 I think I bought them when I started college so I was probably about 16 which was 12 years ago 12 years ago and they are the ever so classic ever so famous 1460 cherry red Doc Martens now I know a lot of people would have gone for the black ones first especially nowadays however I went for the cherry red ones and these have so many memories these shoes like I performed many a gig in these shoes I probably did all my exams in these shoes I took these shoes to university they are such a memorable shoe they are a little bit squished because they have been shoved in the corner of my room um, but honestly I cannot fault the cherry red dot martins I think honestly I would get these over the black ones any day I think they have so much more character and they're so much more authentic and just like punk rock vibes do you know what I mean I just love them so this is them they are incredibly scuffed but this is the only pair that I have that I think the more scuffs the better so I love those honestly get yourself a cherry red pair I cannot recommend them enough. Next up we have this pair of Pascals. Now these are part of a collection and I cannot remember for the life of me what the name was called. I know it was like a punk rock collection because it has got kind of punk rock design all over it and it's got punk on it like actually the words written on it and it is that kind of like edgy design but I have no idea what the range was called if any of you guys know please let me know down below in the comments but this was one of my absolute fave pairs it was so different so unique and I think it just looks like a really cool pattern from far away but when you see it up close it's just absolutely beautiful so I cannot fault these have I worn them very much no because I don't want to ruin them obviously but I love them nonetheless. The next pair is a pair of 1460s and that is the Dennis the Menace ones. Now these I think came out, I have no idea, years ago and my parents I believe got these for me because they were out shopping and they saw them and they were like okay they're really cool let's pick them up um, and they got them for me and these are incredibly cool. Again I haven't worn them, don't want to ruin them. I am, Like I said I'm a definite collector of Doc Martens. I wouldn't dare to want to ruin these because if you scuff that design it's just going to be heartbreaking so I don't tend to wear these very much but I really do like them they're so different I don't know whether you can buy these anymore I don't know whether anyone's selling them on Depop or anything um but I do really like these so yeah are we even halfway through I don't even know this is actually a joke now the next pair is probably my most disgusting pair and these are the Doc Martin Serena's now I have worn these to death and back to the point that the like there's a bit of the actual shoe peeling off the inside is gross like th I've obviously worn this with like black socks which was a stupid idea because all this like it was wool before it was fur now it's a more fur texture if you buy these but these are like more wool and honestly these are just gross there is no saving these I am going to give them a polish um, to hopefully bring some life back into them but I don't know how I can clean the inside um so any advice would be great but I do really like these they're so comfortable these are the sorts of shoe that I can put on and run out of the house and have no issues I could wear these with like ankle socks and still have no problems so I really do like them but they are just really really rank and gross so I do apologize about the state of those because they do look absolutely disgusting <laughs> so the next pair is another pair of pascals and that is this pair I actually bought these from one of you guys one of you guys messaged me on instagram and said that you'd bought a pair in a size three and that you just don't wear them and you bought them for 30 pounds did I want to give you 30 pounds for them and I just couldn't not because they were so cute and the dot martins for 30 pounds who would I be to say no these are a very cream with glitter it's a purple glitter it's absolutely stunning and I really like these I've worn these quite a few times and they do definitely need a clean but I think they're such a beautiful shoe so to that amazing subscriber and viewer I love you thank you for my shoes I love them, I wear them a lot, so I'm obsessed with them still. Next up we have the ever so classic 1461. These are what I like to call my doctor shoes. They're definitely a doctor vibe, but I really like them. These I have worn in 
to death. As you can see, the back of these is super bendy, which is not easy to do, so I'm so impressed with myself. The front is super squishy. I find these incredibly comfortable. I can wear them with literally an ankle sock and I'm good to go. Um, I tend to wear them more with like a frilly sock with like a little dress or um, something like that because I think that makes it look very like pretty and girly with an edgy shoe. Again, I just really like it. So I have these. I've had them for a very long time. Again, I think probably 10, 11 years, something like that. And they are great. So next are the 1461 quads in black. So I've mentioned them in white previously. These are the black ones. I absolutely love these. I definitely prefer these to these. I think this is more my style now. I really like these, don't get me wrong, but this is definitely more my style nowadays. So I definitely gravitate more towards these, but these I haven't managed to break in yet they're so stiff um i do need to kind of wear them with really thick socks around the house or something because they are not breaking in very easily so yeah i do really like these i'm not going to go on about them too much but i love them just as much as the white and they are just beautiful the next pair of shoes is the only pair of Doc martin sandals that i own i bought these last year and i am so glad i did i got so much use out of them and they are my favorite sandals to date i love them these are the griffin quad sandals so not only are they a sandal they've got a quad Quad, so they are a little bit more edgy which I love these look great with jeans with dresses they look great with everything and I wore them so much last year and I'm so incredibly glad that I bought these they were about 129 I think um, so definitely expensive for a sandal but I'm never gonna have to buy another pair of sandals again I might buy a pair of Doc Martin sandals next year but who knows um, but these are definitely do it like usable forever and I love them so I got these in black and I really like them another pair of Pascals are these these I like to call my mermaid scale shoes because they look absolutely stunning they've got kind of like a pink with a green shift to them I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see all the colors on camera or not I'm trying to get the angle right but they kind of go from pink to green to yellow they are so beautiful I am a really really big fan of these shoes and I have worn them a lot they're super soft already so you don't need to wear them in and they are stunning so I love those the next pair are these Pascals again these are like my unicorn shoes I feel like they are absolutely gorgeous I bought these a few years ago now when I went to summer in the city so let me know if you've been here since then and I do not regret this purchase I absolutely love them the only thing with them is I don't like that scratchy noise but I think I just wish they were kind of coated in a shiny kind of smooth texture because they do have that horrible rough feeling but I do love these and I definitely will wear them forever because they're so beautiful and in, on pictures and in camera they just look amazing moving on to one of my favorite pairs and that is these 1461 shoes now I got these gifted to me by Ryan's dad for Christmas in 2020 so not last Christmas, the Christmas before. These are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. I have never seen these shoes in store ever. So I was so surprised to receive these because they are absolutely stunning. They're covered in roses and skulls and they are literally just me in a shoe. And I absolutely love them so much. They are absolutely stunning. I cannot just... Oh, I just love them so much. The colour, the print, everything. Absolutely amazing. Next up is the black pair of 2976 quad Chelsea boots that I have. Again, very stiff, very hard to break in, but a beautiful shoe. They look great with kind of baggier style mum jeans, I think, personally. And I do really, really like these. So they're not my favourite Chelsea boots. I will go on to those in a moment when I can find them. But I really, really love these. Like the style, the kind of double sole, just everything about this style of shoe, I really, really love. The next pair is another pair of Sinclairs, and these are the croc print black patent Sinclairs. Now these were the first Sinclairs I ever saw and for about a year I had my eyes on them and I didn't buy them and now I am so glad that I own them. I absolutely love this. I love the design. It's kind of like crocodile vibes, like snake skinny kind of texture. I really, really love it and again I love the Sinclair design with the zip or the lace. I really like it. These are one of my favourites and they're so edgy and cool so I absolutely love those. Moving back to the Pascals, I have these again Again, absolute mermaid heaven. I love these so, so much. I think I prefer these to the other one only because of the colour shift. So this one was more of a purple, blue and green sort of vibe. And I really like these. Honestly, absolutely stunning. I don't know whether you can get these anymore. Um, but when I bought these, I just fell in love and I just had to get them. So yeah. And again, really soft, easy to wear. So makes breaking in super, super painless. Another pair of 1460s are these. This was the other pair that I got for £20 about 
10 years ago which is insane and they are these incredible lime green ones I love the look of these they are so different so unique and again all black outfit pop these on and they just look so statement and so different and I really really love them obviously this wouldn't be a Doc Martens collection without the OG original 1460s in black mine are absolutely gross they are in dire need of a clean so they are going to have a deep clean after this video but again these and the cherry reds are probably one of my most worns apart from my Jadens in black which I will show you in a moment um, but these I wear all the time and I really like them easy to slip on and off I don't even undo the laces I'm that lazy with them now and I love them I cannot recommend these enough I think if you want a, like a pair of Doc Martens and you're umming and ahhing between styles these are a classic and go with everything or get the Jadens because those are the ones that I absolutely love but yeah I love those. Another pair of Pascals, I have these. These are from the same collection as the holographic looking ones at the start. These are the pink version. I love these. I love the colour. Um, again, I've not seen these since. These are such a unique shoe and I absolutely love them. I love pink, so anything like this sort of colour I am all for and it just looks absolutely beautiful like on camera, on for in photos and stuff. I really, really like these shoes. Um, I was gifted these obviously for Christmas. I don't know how much they were, but they were probably around the 150 mark, I would imagine so love those another pair of pascals are these these are actually really different i think i saw these in top shop in bristol when top shop used to be there it's shut down now which is really sad but they used to have an office downstairs and i think i got these from there if I can remember rightly. So they were in the sale. I love these shoes. I think they look really different, really unique. The only thing I hate are the laces. They are so thick and when you do like a double knot in them it kind of unravels and it's really hard to do a tight knot. So I do need to get some different laces for these but I really like them. They are kind of that canvasy material. So not great for in the snow. I mean they are lined so they won't get your feet wet but the shoe would get wet if you know what I mean. So I don't tend to wear them in the snow but I do love these. They just look really different. And again I've not seen anybody else with them so that's really fun back to the 1460s i have these i have no idea what color this would class as i would say this is a very painted like cherry red oil slicky vibe it's a very kind of burnt orangey red cherry red color i don't know these aren't my favorite i remember in my dot martin's collection that i posted two years ago i mentioned that i didn't really wear these all that often i have definitely worn them a lot since but i just find them again hard to style because of the color i don't know unless you're wearing like a red lipstick or something that's sort of the same color i find them really hard to wear but i do like them so that is something i do need to try and wear more but i do kind of forget that i have them a lot of the time so i definitely need to dig those out a little bit more the next pair of shoes are the only pair of heels that I have from Doc Martens and they are the Doc Martin Avril boots. Now I will say I bought these for I think it was nearly £150 and then a few months later they were online for £40. Fuming let me tell you but I love these shoes they are so like they are a classic boot you could definitely wear these in the day in the evening and I love that about these they are comfortable they've got a really thick heel which I love and I just really like them and I wanted to get myself a pair of heels that would last me and I know these will last me forever so I really really like these they are definitely my style and obviously they're Doc Martens so what would I not love about them you know what I mean next up we have another pair of Sinclairs and they are these these are probably one of my favourite shoes of all time. I absolutely love the pattern on these shoes. They are very, very similar to the skull and flower ones that I have that I got from Ryan's dad. Very similar in terms of design and colour, but these are just flowers and I really like these. Again, I love the Sinclairs. They are one of my favourites, especially recently. I love the kind of edginess of these shoes, um, but these are the floral ones. And as soon as I saw these, these went straight on my Christmas list because I was just in love with them. So absolutely love those honestly beautiful next up are probably my most crazy doc martens and these are the doc martin britons now a lot of you guys said you absolutely love these i just find them so incredibly difficult to style the only way i manage to style them is with dresses and skirts i think with jeans it makes me look too bulky and like large I don't know I just don't really like it but I did wear this with a skirt and a jumper and some tights last year and I did really like it I did only wear them inside the car because me and Ryan went to go and get a Starbucks um but I really really like them and they are definitely 
something different. I did get these in the sale, they were £75, probably down from over £200, so an absolute bargain in my opinion, but I do need to wear them more. I think if they were black I probably would wear them a little bit more, but I do really like these, So, and they do have a zip, so it makes life a little bit easier. So the next pair is definitely one of my recent obsessions, and that is the Devon Heart Boots. Now these are quite recent for Doc Martens, I believe they've only had them on the website for about a year, or just over a year now, which is insane, and I'm so in love with these. And and that is exactly why I have them in three colours. So I have them in the black. I also have them in the white. And my absolute favourite, I have them in the baby pink. So these are my Devon Hearts. I absolutely love these shoes so much. No, I do not need them in all three colours. I know it's very obsessive, very over the top and very unnecessary but I just can't help myself. I loved these so much, so I got these first, I believe. Then I saw the black ones and thought, well, I may as well get the black ones as well. However, I went to London shopping with my girlfriends and I saw these in office and I had to get them. So now I have three pairs. It's becoming a bit of a problem, but I love these. I think they're so cute. They remind me of the Lazy Oaf collaboration that they did, which I was so gutted that I didn't get my hands on a few years ago, so. I've stocked up, now I have three pairs, so I can't really complain, but definitely far too many shoes. Another pair of Sinclairs that I have are these. Now, I wasn't originally gonna get these, but I did see them in the sale, and my parents kindly got me them for my birthday, and they are the Sinclair White Croc Patent Shoes. Again, not gonna go into too much detail about these ones, they are white versions of the black ones from earlier, but these are beautiful. I just love a white shoe, and I know that, like, I don't need this many of the same sort of style of shoe, but I am so in love with them that I can't control myself. Um, so yeah, I love these. Let me know if you have them, I would love to know. Um, I am literally putting Dot Martens all on my lap now. This is becoming an issue. The next pair are the 2976 Maxes. I absolutely love these. I saw these on the Dot Martin Instagram account and instantly fell in love, but they weren't online in the UK for ages. They were online in America, but for some reason in the UK they came out like a month later or something. But I managed to get my hands on them for Christmas and I'm so so incredibly glad that I did because these are beautiful. Very edgy, definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but this with like a skirt and some tights and a big jumper or even with some like jeans like over the top I just think is so beautiful so I love these so so much. Definite favourite. They're all my favourite let's be honest but those are just amazing. So the next pair is definitely some of my most worn shoes and these are the black Jadens. Absolute classic. Honestly if you are getting into Doc Martens and you want to have a shoe that you could wear every day that's a little bit edgy, these are the shoes for you. My friend Zoe got these as her first pair and honestly they are absolutely stunning. I love these so so much. They are honestly incredible. I wear them all the time, like all the time. These are my go-to shoes at the moment. I put off wearing these for a long time because I didn't want to scuff them but then I started to wear them and I thought you know what you need to just wear them so I am <laughs> and I love them they are so beautiful so comfortable and they go with everything which is great. The next pair is a pair which I got for my birthday and I haven't actually worn them yet and they are these. These are the Jaden Max in the Oxblood. I love these. Now a lot of you are going to think they look very similar to the black ones which granted they do however when you wear these over time the Oxblood colour comes out more and more so they actually become more of an oxblood red colour as opposed to this really dark kind of blacky red colour which is really really fab and I love that. They are really cool, again come with the yellow laces, they come with black laces, I just love them so much so yeah absolute just oh, I love them. I have a shoe problem, this is becoming an issue, I've been filming this video for about an hour so never a good sign. <laughs> And last but definitely not least, if you have made it to this far in the video, thank you so incredibly much. I cannot imagine how long this video is. I've been filming for about 45 to 50 minutes already, so it's a little bit of a long video. It's going to take me ages to edit. Um, but the last pair of shoes, these are the ones I have bought most recently, so I thought I would end on them. These are the Aldrick Chelsea's. Now, I have mentioned this in a haul video and a favourites video, both of which I ramble on and on about how much I love these shoes. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. These these are the most comfortable Doc Martens I've ever bought because they are instantly soft so I don't need to break them in. The sole is chunky but it's the lightweight sole so they don't weigh half as much as a normal kind of double soled shoe. I absolutely love these shoes. If you want a Chelsea boot this is the one you want. I'm telling you my absolute favourite. These were a hundred and... 79 I think or something like that but so worth it in my opinion. Absolutely stunning. I love these shoes so... 
love it. So that is everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. And let me know down below if you have Doc Martens and what your favourites are, what's on your wish list. I would love to know. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. It would absolutely make my day. And yeah, right, I'm going to go polish all these shoes. So wish me luck. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.